Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to be going over the delay and reverb settings in Serum. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to make a little something more interesting, not just saw wave. What I'm going to do, make somewhat of a pluck. I'm going to drag envelope 2 to the cutoff and move that down. All right, so now we have something a little bit more something a little bit more interesting for our delay and reverb effects. So we're going to go into the effects tab and peep the delay uh, tab here. Um, so what the delay does is it kind of copies the sound and delays it being played by, um, you know, uh, either a time left and right, or you can link them, also important, a time of like, 183 milliseconds. Right? Or BPM locked, which would be, you know, quarter eighth all the way to fast, which I find awesome. Um, but uh, usually I stick around between sixteenths and uh, half notes. So we'll go uh, sixteenths. If you want to unlink them. We can have 16th and 8th. And uh, yeah, that's basically the normal delay. You'll notice over here we have normal, ping pong, and uh, tap delay. Ping pong, or normal, is basically just a normal delay. We'll link these. Right, just a normal delay. Ping pong goes left and right. So unlink those. I have sixteenths. Ping pong. Right, kind of a rhythmic, more interesting sounding delay. Uh, and then we have our tap delay, which is right here. So what happens in tap delay is this kind of changes. The left is the delay for the actual reverb, and then the right is the time in which it delays. So kind of you just listen to it and I'll explain what it does because then I'll be able to know what I'm talking about. Right? So it, it when you hit a note or whatever, it waits till a quarter quarter note and then it rever or it delays normally uh on 16th. So basically it's the same as normal, but then there's a delay until the delay happens. Pretty cool. Um, and yeah, so on the left, the amount of time it takes for the actual delay to engage. Right? Anyway, so let's uh, go back to normal. I'll explain what we have here is we have a feedback filter. So we have low pass, high pass, band pass, and it's a way to kind of clean up the uh, the feedback of what is being delayed. Right, with a mix of 100%. So if you have like a delay on, a, on the low end, you don't want the low end to be, you know, hogging up everything in the mix because then you get problems. thing I should be mentioning is uh, we can offset the delay by milliseconds right and that kind of gives it uh, interesting we can unlink those as well or, sorry unlink those so different delay times So it's it's offset, but it, it adds a, a really interesting effect. Um, another thing I should mention, we'll link that. Um, we have, once we get up to, here we have triplets as you move up. 
All right, so you have like a 16th trip triplet, and then up to 1.5, got dotted. And yeah, it's pretty cool. Got dotted half as we go down. Right, which is pretty intense. Anyway, that's a nice feature. I appreciate that. And that is the delay. Let's go into the reverb, which is right here. Right, so this is a plate, plate uh, based reverb. Um, we have a few options here. We have our mix, which is how much of the dry signal and how much of the wet signal, right? Uh, the stereo width, how wide, or like if you want like a stereo reverb. The size, the reverb size is basically room size, kind of very small, like a small room to like a cathedral. You have the pre-delay, which is how long it takes for the reverb circuit to receive the sound, so you can have a zero delay. So it kind of adds the delay. Um, if you want, you know, bigger thing, a bigger kind of attack. Right, and that's kind of, if you listen to Beats by Rank 1, that's the kind of effect that they use. Right, it's kind of like a pumping effect. It's really cool. Low cut is basically it cuts out all the low. Right. We'll turn the mix all the way up so you can hear that. And that might be useful if you don't want the low end of the reverb to kind of muddy up the mix. Damping is say it's just so like pretend that it's like a wide open kind of cathedral. It was zero percent dampening. Right, you have like you know a nice long reverb, lots of reflections as you turn the dampening up. Pretend that you have carpets on the walls, or you know it just kind of dampens it essentially. Right, high cut, same kind of thing. It, it cuts out all the high end. It, it shaves off the high end, right? Cool thing to use is the delay and reverb in conjunction. One, the one eighth. Right? Uh, and that is uh, the delay and uh, reverb. Um, hope you learn stuff. Take care and have a good one.